A central thrombocythemia continues to have relatively few options. And at this point, only has hydroxyurea, an agrolide. Uh, there has been off-label use of interferons uh, and a limited use of JAK inhibitors in individuals with difficult symptoms. Uh, Ropegulated interferon alpha 2b or besremi recently was approved in polycythemia vera where it was shown to be superior to hydroxyurea for helping control the disease, uh, need for phlebotomy, uh, improved symptoms and those difficulties. This is a phase 3 study in ET that is unrolling now in the US and in uh, Asia uh, being also led by my colleague Serge Verstavchik from the MD Anderson Cancer Center where we are randomizing patients that have failed hydroxyurea between ropegulated interferon alpha 2b versus uh, an agrolide uh, with important endpoints in terms of control of the platelet count, uh, uh, monitoring of course for thrombotic events, tolerability, and improvement in symptoms. We think that it's a very helpful therapy. We think that it will show the same benefit that's been seen with polycythemia vera uh, and become an important option for these patients. We certainly would encourage individuals that have patients out there that might fit uh, this uh, kind of a description and eligibility to consider uh, sending patients to potentially be considered for enrollment in that study. Uh, interferons have long been in many of the national treatment guidelines, including the NCCN guidelines in the US. So if we are able to achieve an FDA approved therapy to achieve that interferon therapy, we think there'd be a tremendous benefit for patients.